Hello everybody, this is Ralph Martin, the owner of bestfitnessdevices.com and in this video I want to talk about the best smartwatch with fitness tracking. Um, if you're watching this uh, video on YouTube, then um, go ahead and click the link below this video in the description box and you can get a full detail of this blog post that I'm going to walk you through that will give you the best smartwatch with fitness tracking and all of the details that go along with it. So, you know, are fitness trackers worth buying or should you just stick to wearing a watch? And this guide will take a look at best of both worlds. Now, what am I what I mean by best of both worlds is that in the fitness tracking world, you have fitness trackers which are designed to um, track your overall health and fitness, and they're very good at doing that. And then you have in the market a smartwatch, which is really designed to, uh, well, basically you have a small computer on your wrist. It does things like hook hooks up to Wi-Fi, you can get messages, you know, uh, uh, based on your smartphone, you can do a lot of different things that really your smartphone can do on your wrist. The, um, the idea is that some smartwatches do have fitness tracking features, but they're not quite as good as a fitness tracker. So what we want to do, and as technology has progressed, um, we started to see uh, certain brands come out with smartwatches that have really good fitness tracking built into them. Um, and we call these devices hybrid devices. They're sort of a hybrid between a fitness tracking device and a smartwatch. And so that's what this post is about. It's about the best smartwatches available with this fitness tracking. So if you um, go down this uh, post and go to each of the sections, first of all, what is the best smartwatch with fitness tracking? I have an updated list. We really reviewed and did a lot of research and we came up with three um, Smartwatches with fitness tracking capabilities. My favorite one is the Fitbit Sense Advanced Smartwatch. I happen to own this smartwatch. My wife wears it. It's a great smartwatch. And it has, just like the name says, it's an advanced smartwatch with advanced fitness tracking built into it. The runner-up is the Fitbit Versa 3 Health and Fitness Smartwatch and the best overall budget-friendly um, smartwatch with fitness tracking is the Jarman Vivo Active 3 GPS smartwatch. So what I'd like to do is sort of take each one of these and give you the um, details of each of them. Again, you could read this post and go through each of the details. So first of all, why should you get a smartwatch with fitness tracking? You might think that, you know, the only reason to buy a smartwatch with fitness tracking is because you want to wear a watch and have the ability to track your overall fitness. Well, if that's the assumption, you would be right. Uh, with today's wearable technology, there are plenty of reasons why you might want to consider having the best smartwatch with fitness tracking. Um, you do get the advantages of a smartwatch, one thing. And the five reasons I came up with here are you can monitor your heart rate during exercise. Monitoring your heart rate during exercise is very important. Um, I, I have another blog article specifically about that, and you can... Um, go down further and I'll show you where that is. Um, you can track your sleep quality and quantity because if you want to, if you have certain fitness goals, you want to lose weight or you want to stay fit, um, having good sleep quality is important for that and the amount of sleep as well. You can keep track of that. Um, keeping track of steps taken, that's very important because um, you might have an overall goal of, say, I want to do 10,000 steps a day. You want to be able to monitor that. Um, you get alerts for important events. This is part of the smartwatch capability. You don't usually see that in just an, a, a standalone fitness uh, tracker. Then you can stay on top of social media activity. This is another um, a feature that you'd see in a smartwatch and not necessarily in a standalone fitness tracker. 
So what should you look for when buying a smartwatch with fitness tracking? Um, a couple of things I would look for that I recommend is extended battery life, accurate data for calorie burn and measuring your heart rate. So calorie burn and measuring your heart rate are extremely important for those that are looking to lose weight um, and then measuring your heart rate for those that are even just wanting to stay fit. Um, but these two uh, go hand in hand. You want to be able to, you know, in order to lose weight, basically it's a very simple thing. I know it sounds simple, but um, you need to burn more calories than you eat. That is the overall formula for losing weight. Um, knowing the calorie burn and that information will help you to reach your specific goals, whether it be to lose weight or to stay fit or to even gain weight. Um, because if to gain weight, well, you need to eat more calories than you are losing or you are burning. Um, so they go hand in hand. Um, so you want to be able to have a smartwatch with fitness tracking that is accurately determines calorie burn and measuring your heart rate. Uh, GPS tracking is another uh, feature that you want to have if you're going to have a smartwatch especially. Um, a good smartwatch will have good GPS tracking. And if you're a runner and you are wanting to, or you're a hiker, uh, GPS tracking is very important uh, to have in a um, fitness tracking device. So what I've done is I've gone through each of these smartwatches and detailed the pros and cons and description. For example, the Fitbit Sense Advanced Smartwatch, we rated overall, best overall. Um, you know, as the name mentions, the Fitbit Sense is an advanced smartwatch. And it is advanced indeed. The fitness tracking capabilities within this smartwatch are uh, just great. I mean, it has a built-in ECG app feature. So for electrocardiogram, it measures that. It has an awesome stress management feature and built-in GPS and Wi-Fi. Um, some of the cons are that um, the small, there's a small third-party app selection, and some say it's a bit expensive. Uh, you know, I, I really, I really think the small third-party app selection um, is not really a con because you do get the Fitbit app, which is an awesome app. Um, you, you have everything you really need in that app. So um, why why would you need a third party app anyway? Uh, it's not really that expensive. I think this this watch goes for about one hundred and thirty dollars. Um, you know, it, it I'm not, I, I saw some of these reviews on Amazon. There's a lot of great reviews on Amazon for this watch. Most people rated this. I mean, think something like 80% of the people rated it as a four or above and something like 75% rated it as um, a, a, a five. So it has good Amazon ratings from people who actually own this watch. Um, then there's the Fitbit Versa 3 Health and Fitness Smartwatch. This is the runner up. Um, this is a beautiful watch uh, and it has a great large display. Um, it's an excellent run, runner up. The It does have really great battery life of up to seven days. Um, it has built in GPS, sleep tracking, and sleep score. I'm sorry, six plus day battery life. And the, the con on this one is it doesn't have the ECG app feature that the Fitbit Sense has. And then there's the Jarman Vivo Active 3 GPS smartwatch. This is the best smartwatch with fit, fitness tracking for people on a budget. Uh, less than $100. It's a great fitness watch. Some of the pros are it has battery life up to seven days, built-in GPS, contactless payment feature. So you can make payments to various things um, contactless. So you can do it right from your watch. Nicely priced. Um, it doesn't have the ECG app feature and the heart rate monitor isn't quite as accurate as some of the more expensive models. Um, and we had some frequently asked questions. Can the watch band be changed on these devices? Yes. Does the Fitbit sets measure SpO2 levels? So I did get quite a few questions on this, and these questions are in Amazon as well. The Fitbit sense does indeed measure your SpO2 levels at night, um, not during the day. And this is vital for anyone's health. It's also important to note that it alerts you when your heart rate goes above or below certain numbers. So this is a great benefit and feature. 
And can I answer the phone with the Fitbit Versa 3? You can answer calls with the Fitbit Versa 3. Uh, this is true for most smartwatches, by the way. If you're an Apple user, however, you cannot text back. If you're an Android user, you can't text back. Uh, so the conclusion, um, the best smartwatch with fitness tracking is, da -da -da -da, as I mentioned before, it is the Fitbit Sense Advanced Smartwatch. Best overall rated. Uh, thank you very much for reading this uh, blog post. Like I said, click the link below this video if you want to read this blog post in detail. If you found value in this video, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a lot of really good learn posts um, on uh, how to lose weight, how to stay fit, a lot of different things. This is Ralph Martin, and you make it a great day. Take care.